أعزائي المشاهدين كما عودناكم في برنامجكم الأسبوعي برنامج إماراتي أن نستضيف لكم خيرة من دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة وفي هذا الأسبوع نستضيف السيد رنا المدير والرئيس التنفيذي لشركة بي آر دي إنترنشنال ريال ستيت إن دبي Good afternoon, Mr. Rana. Good afternoon. We would like to know who is Rana. Assalamu alaikum, first of all. Um, I'm born in Germany, raised in Germany, and uh, my education I've done in Germany as well. And I moved to Dubai three years ago. First, I came to Dubai like six years ago. Um, yes, I'm a family man of two kids. Um, they live in Dubai as well. Mr. Rana, let us know what's make you interesting on UAE markets or in United Arab Emirates like Dubai City. Actually, I came six years ago, first time to Dubai, six or seven years ago. And uh, I was uh, shocked in the good sense that uh, what's going on in this country, there was so much development. I'm in real estate for the last 13 years, so I see things a bit from an other perspective, um, especially from, from business point of view. Um, I've seen in this country a growth which is incredible. I live in a country, Germany, everybody knows Germany for, for the quality, for, for the lifestyle as well, for everything. But when I came here, I saw Dubai as a new opportunity, not only in the sector of uh, real estate, it was in all sectors, even the quality of life, the family living standards in this country. So there was a couple of things which, which impressed me to um, stay in this country and do business as well. You take your bag, you move to Dubai to start a business. No, that was not so easy because as I said, I'm a family man. I have a, I've established business in Germany as well. So first of all, I came, uh, as I said, six years ago. Then I started coming um, three, four up and down and I came and went again. Then I opened the company three years ago, and uh, when I closed my first very good deal, then I said I have to do a bit more than I've done in the last four or five, five years here. Mm -hmm. I established that company, uh, BRD International Real Estate, as a daughter company basically, and uh, started selling properties from Dubai specifically to German clients first of all. And it was any difficulties uh, that time when you started your company? Yes, difficulties always come when you start a new business in a new country. It was, it's not Europe, um, right. it's a totally different kind of world here. And the good thing is um, I speak a couple of more languages because I'm born in Germany, I speak German and I have the, 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 the mentality of the East, Eastern countries and Western countries. I, I know both of them. So it was not that difficult when I came here. I was not shocked when I saw the, the mentality of the people because I know how the people in India, in Pakistan, in, the, in that side of the, uh, of the world is. So it was not that difficult for me. The one and only challenge was to find good people for the company who will help me basically to, to increase my business. Okay. Uh, you mean the team? Who exactly, the team. Let us know about the strategy you built to select the right team to be your backbone. I started to, I, I look, first of all, I looked for a country manager, for, for someone, because there was no plan that I would stay in this country. I was always coming and going. So I looked for a country manager. I've done, I think, 40 interviews in a hotel, in the lobby, when I came, like, as I said, three, four years ago. And uh, I found one person, one lady, um, her name is Margie. I found her from that 40 interviews. and. Uh, I selected her because she had the market knowledge. She's living here for, for ages and uh, she had experience for 14, above 14 years in real estate. And uh, I hired her. So she was basically my right arm and my left arm. And now how many people do we have to have? We have a team of seven people in total. We have in-house marketing, we have telephonists, we have, uh, as I said, Margie is the manager of the company. And uh, this is something there are a couple of agents as well, but uh, we are still in progress okay. to build a better team. Build or BRD International, the meaning of the company and also uh, what you are providing to the community. BRD is for brokerage Rana Dilaver. This is my first and my second name, mm -hmm. a family name basically. And then it's uh, in Germany, it's very funny because when I selected BRD, 
and the BRD is in Germany, Bundesrepublik Deutschland. This is like in Emirati, what you would say, um, UAE, United Arab Emirates. And in Germany, the initials are BRD. So people always thought I've selected the name from, yeah. from Germany into the company. It was, it was not, the same, not the case. But uh, it was a trigger, basically, for the Germans. So they contacted me and thought, okay, that's a proper German company and this and that. So it helped, helped as well. <laughs> the service is what we provide is classical real estate brokerage. And uh, we do help people as well to establish companies here. If someone comes and says, a part of real estate, we need to um, open a company here. I have a consultancy company as well, which is called BRD International Consultancy. I have a marketing company as well, which is called um, BRD Arush Marketing. And we provide all these three services because uh, I've seen in the past that real estate is everyone who comes to, to Dubai, either he buys a property on his own name or he says, I want to open a company. Once the company is open, I want to buy, sell the properties through a company. So that's why I selected, uh, I, I opened that BRD International Consultancy as well. So it was a good decision to, to run three parts because social media, I have an in-house marketing team anyway, so social media, we, we provide websites, we provide um, the complete campaigns of, uh, of uh, marketing as well, marketing as, as, as a marketing agency basically. And uh, Mr. Rana, if we talk about the demand of real estate you see in the United Arab Emirates, the last three years it was a little bit different from now and also the challenge how you see it from your experience? The competition is extraordinary. We have, we've got like a lot of agents, a lot of agencies who are working here. I've seen in the last three years when I opened my company there was not so many German speaking companies around here and I think in the last 12 or 12 months to a year and a half there came a lot of people from Germany, Switzerland, Austria, German speaking countries and opened companies here as well. I think all of them are making money. All of them are providing good services. Um, but the thing is, you have to always keep in mind that the service is not only a service, what you, 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 you have a client, you sell the property, and then most of the people does, okay, I've got my commission, and then, alas, there's not, nothing else left to do. We provide um, after-sales services as well. The reason is that uh, people who come from, uh, from Germany or other countries from Europe, they have no idea um, what, what the rules and regulations in this right. country are. So we provide not only, we have consultancies, we have accountants, we have um, lawyers. If anything is for the rules and regulations from European countries who needs that service in, in UAE, we provide basically all these services. Mashallah. And uh, the demand of real estate you see in the United States? The demand is, um, as a lot of people know, that Europe has been a big part of Dubai real estate or UAE real estate um, for the last year and a half or maybe two years. Before there was not no, no uh, less Germans here. Now there are a lot of um, European from European countries if it is a French, if it is a Belgium, Netherlands, and so on, they start moving um, to Dubai and uh, moving in that sense that they invest in this country. But we can see as well that a lot of people move to this country as well with the families because they have seen the crisis and the problems which are in Europe these days, that this country is the most safest country on earth. If we talk about uh, the real estate here in United Arab Emirates, we need also to talk about the sustainability, we need to talk about the eco-green, and the demand also high on that side from our uh, government. How you see uh, Dubai uh, to provide uh, the sustainability buildings and eco-green? Yeah. This part of, of the world um, was like, if you go 25 years back, there was no um, discussion about this, this right. pub. Um, it came with the time when, uh, especially after 2000, um, Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of Dubai, and even the ruler of uh, UAE, they have provided the people a lot of things. That's why I personally think a lot of things in the sense of schooling, healthcare, streets, um, environment, uh, there's, there's no crime in this country. So these are, these are the things which if any country provides these things, people love to live there. Um, that was one of the trigger and reasons as well why I moved to this country with my family, because I saw um, 
This country is growing very fast and they provide all these things to everyone. They don't see that this person has black hair, he comes from China, from India, from anywhere part of the world. So there's no discrimination, that's what it is. And in Europe you still see a lot of problems um, this, uh, what belongs to this nature. Today we see many new developers in the United Arab Emirates, uh, in Dubai exactly, and uh, that it's helped, I think, to have more choice for the Western or other nationality who are coming to visit, as you mentioned before the interview. How you see uh, the new developers, it's helped the market to grow? I think it's a very good opportunity for them, because uh, if you go back even seven years or eight years, you could buy from Damak, from, from big developers, you could buy for a small ticket, which is 150000 to $200,000 or euros, you could buy a one-bedroom apartment, even in business, pay a studio apartment for that price. Nowadays, the big developers, the prices are obviously gone up because they have the brand, they're, they're basically a brand for themselves. And uh, the entry ticket for that developers is very high. And if you, if you see that a lot of Europeans are coming into the market, or even not from Europe, all over the place are coming into the market, um, they are mostly first-time investors. So the first-time investors wants to start in the market with a low ticket, which is 150,000 to 200,000 euros. And this is the amount you will find with the small developers. So it's very good that they are coming and they are building their property. And I see even that this small developers, it will take time that they have the brand, but still they are selling. Today we talk also about the agency. We have thousands of agencies uh, who are providing the uh, same services, but maybe in different way. How you see their experience and expertise in the market? You know, the good thing is that Dubai is not only a city, it's a global village for me. And this global village means that all over the world, uh, people from all over the world comes to that country and wants to invest. Go for Russians, for example. They have their own market. Germans have their own market. French people who come and develop a, a um, um, establish a company, they have their own market. So I think even the competition, where competition is, is the market always good. And I, for example, I don't deal with any um, clients from India, from Pakistan, for example, because uh, I know that there are much, much better people who, are, who can provide them this service it's the mother tongue of them. It's they know the market in, uh, they know the demand of that people. But on the other hand, I know that these people can't provide service to the Germans, yeah. or to the Austrians, or to the Switzerland people. I've lived in London for five years, so I have a, a lot of belongings to London as well. So um, the Europeans always wants to see someone who at least speaks the language of them. So German is my mother tongue because I'm raised there, and uh, if they see, okay, I'm from the like a dark German, basically, um, they trust you more as a person who, who, who don't speak the language. So I think the market is, is um, for everyone, the market is very big. The competition is there, definitely, but you will see as well, um, the Europeans always look for quality, for this after service. What can you provide me after signing the SPA? Right. So this, is a, this is the most important thing. And if we talk about the uh, trust, uh, for the investors, why they are trusted more into my market? I think the trust only comes because the government of Dubai has a, a fabulous system. Um, if you go 10, 15 years back, there was this this system was not there. That means, for example, if you buy a pro off-plan property, you have the escrow account. Your money is always safe. You never pay the money to the developer. It's always the escrow account you put the money in. Then you have very nice and very good payment plans. Um, people trust as well because uh, you can buy a property on, on for example, 70-30 payment plan, which 30% is post handover. So they, the, the, if, if they buy a property for $200,000 or euro, euros, they only put 70% in there and the rest is uh, post handover. So the security is, ex is extraordinarily good for them. We will talk about artificial intelligence, how it's helped also the people to buy apartment or uh, to be here without the app. They can see the VR, their apartment, they can, how it's helped also. Yeah, a part of all this you have uh, um, Dubai Rest for example. Um, the investor is always safe on his side because he, see, he can see the development directly with Dubai Rest, which is um, a government page. Right. And uh, you see um, when the construction has started, 
you have sometimes you have payment plans for t um, construction ready 20% you have to pay and you can all follow on the on the government pages directly you don't even have to trust any agent or any developer you can see on the government page um, how the construction is going if there's any delay and stuff like that great and uh, as what you we see alhamdulillah that payment is one of the best country in the world from the safety and security we have today more than 216 languages and uh, more than 200 nationalities, more than 100 cultures that we live together and we support each other. Our leaders, they support all the sections in United Arabs from the healthcare, education, uh, economy, all that which help United Arab Emirates to grow. What you will say to the UAE government and leaders from a person who come last three years and what is now? It's a dream country what they have created. Who support you always? Who's your back? Uh, for who today you will say thanks uh, in your journey success life? My backbone is actually my family. Um, my father, my brother, and obviously my siblings, my, my mother. And uh, they're the most trusted person for me. My father is um, for me a person who we are always looked up um, in any sector of his, of his life, what he has done. and. Uh, I'm blessed basically that I have these parents who always pray for me and uh, a family, a brother like, like I have. There's a picture, you can take this picture later on as well. And uh, this, is my, this is my support. All what I do in my business, um, support is the one thing and uh, we always have a shooter when we do something. Even my brother, my brother is accountant in Germany. And my dad is, uh, has done his, his part of, of business in his life. So he is the one where I look, where I look up to. Allah bless uh, for you, inshallah. Thank Shalla. you, Mr. Una. Thank you very much. Program. We wish for you uh, to grow more and be also one of leaders. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.